Editing Nye here real quick. You'll notice that I look the same at the end of the vlog because I just finished doing my hair and I just finished ending the vlog. But as I was editing yesterday, I realized that I never introduced this vlog properly. So I was like, I'll just film an intro once I'm done doing my hair. So hello, it's the intro. Welcome to another vloggy vlog. This is just gonna be like a regular weekly vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into the vlog. Hey y'all. Happy Friday. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. I just got back from being out like all morning slash, you know, early afternoon. Um, I had a gynecologist appointment this morning because, you know, we all need to get our coochie check. So y'all go get your coochie check every year. It's very important. I was like, what is he biting on? He's playing with his toy. Um, it's very important. So I went for my well woman exam this morning, got some blood work drawn. That went fine. And then after that, I went to the mall. I went to Mall of America because it's starting to get cold out here. Baby fall is here. And then soon winter's going to be here. But I've been looking for some fucking loafers for like ever because I had initially bought some from Zara. I had to return them. They were nine and I'm generally a true size nine in all of my shoes. I'm generally a size nine in all of my shoes, but occasionally I have to get a nine and a half if um, the shoe runs a little bit small or narrow. And then sometimes I get an eight and a half if the shoe runs larger, but generally I am a true size nine. However, Zara does not do half sizes and I knew if I returned that shoe for a 10 that it was gonna be too big. So I was like, I will just look for loafers elsewhere. And so Aldo has recently gotten some really cute ones. So I went there today and I went to try a pair on in a size nine. That shit was rubbing up against my heel. And I was like, am I just gonna buy them and just like suck it up or hope that they stretch out? But I was like, no. And then Aldo doesn't do half sizes either. And so I asked to try on a 10 and the 10 was was too big if they had a nine and a half it would have been perfect so i didn't get them but i did go to steve madden um and shout out to them i love this bag i'm gonna save it for when i go grocery shopping but i did get some at steve madden and these are a nine and they fit perfectly fine i tried them on without socks at the store but i tried them on with socks once i got home and they're fine but these are leather. These are what I got. I will try and link them down below. But these are so cute. And then they had them in like a burgundy color and I might have to go back and cop those. Um, but yeah, I needed some flats because I keep a pair of heels at work. Um, but sometimes I don't be wanting to wear heels at work, but I just needed a good pair of like loafers. Um, so very happy about that. And then we went to Abercrombie and Fitch because I ain't got no jeans in my closet. Not that I'd be wearing jeans like that. I've been very much into like cargos and cargo pants are very in right now. All of mine are from local European, top notch quality. I've shown them before in previous vlogs and I recently showed the parachute pants that I got from them in my clothing haul. So if you haven't watched that, go and check it out. But fire fire pieces abercrombie also sells cargo pants a lot of people have been getting cargo pants off of amazon um a lot of the tiktok girlies have been putting people onto cargo pants on amazon you just gotta look around or you can even get men's cargos and buy them for yourselves but um because fashion you can do whatever you want but yeah they're very in right now but anyways i needed jeans because i have no jeans i gave away my last two pairs that i had in my closet so we went to abercrombie and we got some jeans. I got two different ones. So y'all know Abercrombie jeans are expensive. You're gonna spend at least 99 to 100, or $100 on a pair of jeans. If you're not willing to drop it, don't go there, go to Zara. 
their jeans are good quality but the price point is lower or go somewhere else but abercrombie jeans are expensive however comma they make very good quality jeans and with abercrombie's little rebrand as of like late within i feel like the past few years um, a lot of people have been talking about their denim and so i was like let me go try it out so i got two pairs i got the 90s baggy low rise which i really really love i'll see if i can insert a picture of the model in them or myself and they have rips on like both sides i love that um but they're they're more a uh, low rise but i don't feel like they're too low rise because i'm not a low rise girl i'm a high rise bitch i like to you know have my stomach in my high ass pants um but i really do love these low rise ones and both of them are in a 30 which is a us 10 sometimes or most times i am a in bottoms but when it comes to jeans i usually have to size up because the material is more rigid um it's not as much stretch so i got these and then i got the 90s oh those were 100 these that i'm showing you were 99 these are the curve love 90 straight jeans also in a 10 um both of them are regular length um so yeah I got these and then the hem it has a it has a split hem which I really like it took me a while to find this size bro because eights and tens seem to be very fucking popular so it took me a while to find this I tried it on in an eight and the eight fit but I was like I just feel like a 10 would be better and I would feel more confident in that so I was like let me try and find a 10 and I found it in the correct wash that I wanted with the split hem so yeah they have a whole range of jeans I will also be sure to link these I think I can also link them on my link to know it because they partner with Abercrombie so I will be sure to do that very excited about those so now I can have some jeans for like when I want to dress up dress them down y'all know my vibe by now then I went to Boludo and if you watched my I think nighttime routine I will link that as well it's an Argentinian pizza place an empanada place I had the empanada I only have one slice of the pizza I'm gonna eat some for dinner later and then have the rest for lunch tomorrow um and then I also got a Caesar salad so I'll have some of this later too but that shit is fire that empanada was hitting now I love a good pastelillo which is a puerto rican version of empanada and if i do say so myself me and my mama we make the fuck out them shits they are so good and anyone who has ever been to like a friendsgiving of mine or like somebody's birthday party at our house or another like special gathering where we have to make those because people always want them y'all know the deal them shits is fire but these Argentinian empanadas, chef's kiss. They just make them differently than we do, but they're very, very good. That is what I did all morning. I was out since like 9.15 this morning because my appointment was at 9.40. Yeah, and I got back here at like one o'clock. It's time to take these braids out, baby. Like I've had these in my head for almost two months, which is progress for me because I usually leave them in for like a month, maybe a month and a half, but I've had these in for almost two months. Um, but my scalp, my scalp is yearning to be scratched and washed. So I'm finna cut these braids and we are finna take them out. I'm obviously not going to record the whole process of me taking my braids out because we're going to be here for a while. It usually takes me two days depending on when I start taking them out. Um, so I don't feel like I'm going to finish taking them out today. Um, I'll probably end up taking the rest of them out tomorrow but my goal is to take out as many as possible today and then the rest out tomorrow so i can wash my hair tomorrow deep condition it figure out whether or not i'm gonna straighten it or if i'm gonna slick it back into a bun like slick my natural hair back into a bun but if i don't do that then i will actually blow dry my hair and straighten it if i decide to go that route i'll probably just blow dry my hair tomorrow and then straighten it on sunday but we shall see anyways i'm gonna start the process of taking my hair on i'm gonna watch some tv and i will talk to you beautiful people later and give you a little update on the progress of taking my hair out good morning y'all happy monday i did not talk to y'all yesterday or did i i did i spoke to y'all in the morning i'm a bad blogger 
But it's Monday morning. It is like almost 8.45. And yeah, I am making my oatmeal right now. Then I'm gonna eat that. And then after I'm done eating my oatmeal, my makeup came out so good. I just wish I had lashes on. Haven't done my lips yet. But after I'm done eating my oatmeal, I am gonna head to work. I might take out with me to work today. We'll see. But just want to show you outfit. My hair looks so good. But excuse my mirror. She's a little dirty right now. I need to clean her. She's very dusty. You can tell because the sun is hitting it. But Aritzia bodysuit, Zara high waisted pants. And then I have on my new Steve Madden leather loafers. So hold on. Of course it made a mess because I wasn't paying attention. Bodysuit and pants I showed in my collective haul so I will be sure to link that in the description box and on the screen so you can go if you're interested in either of these pieces. They are linked in the description box of that video and then I will make sure to have these loafers linked um, if anybody is interested. When I come home from work I'll try on the jeans because I meant to try them on the other day and put in like a, a side by side so y'all can see them but I'll just try them on when I come back from work so y'all can see my makeup really came out so good. I finally figured out how to not get my under eyes to crease with the concealer that I use because that concealer is very creamy so I have to like be careful because if not it will crease but face is sitting babes but looks so good hair looks good let me check on my oatmeal because we done made a mess in the microwave see y'all later all right y'all we are dressed and we are ready to go i put on a blazer because it's like 40 something outside still but we are heading to work it's a little after nine but my goal is to be at work by 9 30. so let's go money hold on gotta cut a lot of order for dollars quarters wrist water reach water bitch on the on the on wanna come on come on hey i'm a stunner stunner summer minute I was posing for, okay, I was posing real quick because I want to use one of those shots as um, part of my thumbnail, but we are back home. It is a little after 12. It's 12.24, it's almost 12.30. Um, we are home. My makeup still looks good. Just a tad bit of oil peeking through, but nothing serious. I need to start color correcting around my mouth before I like apply foundation. Yeah, anyways, before I eat lunch, I didn't wanna forget, so I wanted to come and show y'all the jeans that I got from Abercrombie because I didn't try them on for y'all on Friday which is when I bought them. So here's the first pair. I think they look so good. They are a size 10 or a 30 waist. With jeans, especially if the denim is not super stretchy, I most likely have to get a 10 or a 30. But if it is stretchy, then I can get away with an eight. But yeah, these are a 10. This is what they look like. I have room in the waist what they look like from the side. I feel like they don't make my ass look too much like a pancake. We already have a smaller butt. So that's that. And then these have a split hem, ignore my toes. I didn't have time to do my toes this weekend, but they're getting done this week. But yeah, this is the first pair of, these are the 90s 
straight ultra high rise. So they have them in multiple different washes. I liked this wash specifically and because it had the split hem detailing. So yeah, that is the first pair. On to the second pair. Okay, we are back with the other pair. These, these are the 90s baggy low rise jeans also in a 30 or a size 10 i really love these love the wash they have splits on both sides i feel like they are a little baggy i don't feel like they're the most flattering on my ass and they have a little bit of space but like it's really not that deep, but also they're supposed to be baggier. That's the fit. They're low rise. I'm not a low rise girl. I am a high rise type of girl. I'll even give you mid rise, but I feel like if these were low rise, I feel like they should be a tiny bit lower, but on me, this is where they sit. And I think that they are like perfect. So can't wait to wear these because I feel like these are gonna look fire with some sneakers or some heels. So yeah, very, very happy with my purchases from Abercrombie, so shop their jeans. So now I'm gonna make a sandwich and cut an apple for lunch and then watch some YouTube and then I'm gonna get back to work. I've had a very productive morning and made a lot of progress on one of my projects because I'm trying to have that specific project be implemented by the end of the calendar year. So December before, you know, we all leave for the new year. So yeah, I think we're ahead of schedule and I just needed to, I just need some feedback on it just in case I need to make changes and everything before it's implemented. But we made a lot of progress on it and I'm very happy with it. So let me eat and I will talk to you beautiful people later. Are we alive? Yes, we're alive. I'm screaming. If you want to be my girlfriend, you want to be my boyfriend, I want some money! Yeah! You can cash up her $27. All right, friends, quick update, because I think I told y'all about a product I wanted to try that I ordered from Amazon and it was missing. They found it. Oh, my camera is, a refle is reflecting because it's silver, but this is the Color Wild Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. And I'm going to try it this weekend when I wash my hair, because I'm trying to get back to wash my hair on a weekly basis to keep my scalp together. So I'm gonna wash it on probably Friday when I come from Pilates and I will probably blow it out that day, but I may not straighten it till Saturday, but I'm supposed to spray this on my hair after I am done uh, rinsing out my conditioner. I'm supposed to spray this uh, very liberally in sections and then blow dry the hair. The heat from the blow drying is what activates it. And then I think it's supposed to last for three to four shampoos. So we gonna see how well this works because this has extremely good reviews and I'm very excited. Okay, back to FaceTiming Sherb. Oh, and I'm watching um, one of my favorite YouTubers right now because he's gonna get into the Cardi B and Ogbar V slash Nicki Minaj shit that's been going on on Twitter today, so. Hey y'all, welcome back to another day in the vlog. I don't know why I was about to start that like I was starting a new vlog, it's the same one. Welcome back, today is Tuesday, September 27th, and uh, my body has decided to betray me because you see how this is red here? I got a cold sore on my nose and I realized it when I got up this morning, I was like, why is my nose itching? And I looked in the mirror and there we go. We have a whole bunch of cold sores. So I have to be very careful because I don't want them to spread to any other part of my nose. And I also wear glasses, so I just have to be um, careful, but that's annoying. Anyways, I'm serving you Steve Jobs vibes. Very much giving that. Um, here's today's outfit for work. Let's zoom in. Excuse the dirty mirror. Again, it's dusty. I have to clean it. Um, oh, come back in. 
All right, bodysuit is a Maritzia bodysuit. It is the turtleneck one that I had in my clothing haul. These are the tan pants from Zara that I had in my clothing haul. And then again, we are wearing our Steve Madden loafers. They're so comfortable. I'm glad I got them in the size that I did, which is a size nine. Well, they didn't have a nine and a half anyways, but the nine actually fits perfectly fine. And because it's leather, the material can stretch. So versus if it wasn't leather, it would not do that. So yeah, I'm about to eat my breakfast right now. I just made some oatmeal and then I'm gonna make my coffee, finish drinking my water, and then we are going to head to work. I'm not taking y'all with me to work today. I actually, my digital plan before I go to work, but I'm not taking y'all with me to work today, but I have two, no, I have one meeting today. It would have been two. We don't have our team meeting today, but I do have a meeting this afternoon, so I'm gonna try and get a lot of work done at the office, and then come home, W-A-L, a okay, Mr. Skippy, eat lunch, have my one o'clock meeting, and then I think when I'm done with that meeting, I'm gonna go to the gym and do 12, 3.30. I wanna get back into going to the gym in my building one to two times a week, in addition to the two times that I already go to Pilates, which by the way, I don't know if I said this in this vlog or in a previous one, but I recently went up a level in my Pilates class because I've done more than 25 classes now. I think I've done like 26 or 27 now, but like zero to 25 classes, you're using like, you're on a certain spring level because like you're like beginner. And so I guess 25 to 50 is more like medium, intermediate, and then 50 plus is I guess like kind of like advanced expert. And so like depending on which category you fit in in terms of how many classes you've taken the spring uh the springs that you use in class because it's a resistance-based workout is going to differ and so the more classes you take the spring loads are going to change so that it's still a challenge for you and you don't get like complacent like you don't plateau but yeah just wanted to say that i'm very very proud of myself for being this consistent with pilates it is a challenge and it does kick my ass every single time but I thoroughly enjoy it. But anyways, let me eat my breakfast and I will talk to y'all this afternoon. Okay, y'all, before I head out to work, quick change in outfit. Still the same Aritzia bodysuit, but this time I put on the Aritzia Molina pants and then I have on these, oh, these boots from Zara. Can't link them because they don't sell them anymore. They're from last season, so... I will try to see if they have like something similar that I can link, but they don't have these exact boots anymore. But yeah, I just want to show you my quick outfit change. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I have been a terrible vlogger and also I haven't wanted to vlog because of the cold sore on my nose, which is currently healing. This is like one of the worst cold sores that I've ever gotten in my life. Um, but anyways, we move. So I'm feeling a little less ugly. So I thought I'd come on camera, but we just came back from before I sit y'all down. We just came back from the store. I went to Whole Foods and I did a pickup order at Target. So let's do a little grocery haul. Since one of the items is already open, I bought Skipper some new T-R-E-A-T-S's. He knows what that word is, so that's why I didn't say it, but I got him some new treats. In the spirit of spooky season and fall, these are the Blue Buffalo um, health bars with pumpkin and cinnamon and he likes these health bars but I've never given him this flavor so I thought why not for the fall season so I got that all right we'll do the rest of the target stuff first and then skipper none of this is for you I got him two bags of those I needed some cotton pads um, for my skincare and also I use this when I take like gel polish off of my toes um, and for other things that I might need it for. I ran out of my syrup, which I need for my crack, my coffee, so we got that. 
I had ran out of, I think actually, I didn't completely run out. I think I only have one more. They changed the packaging. I only have one more yogurt left. So I bought two packs of my favorite uh, yogurt from Dannon. And then I got two bottles of my stock oh, cold brew coffee. I already have coffee creamer in the fridge because I bought a really big one at Target the other day. So I won't have to replace it for a while. We're gonna do the Whole Foods shit now. So I brought a lot of produce. Um, I got some more lettuce because I've been having salads like for lunch with like my sandwiches and stuff or I've been having it with my dinner. I have some potatoes because I'm going to make some boil guisado tomorrow for the week um, which is chicken stew. I got some fresh pineapple because I've been on a little pineapple kick as of late. Got some cilantro because I'm going to try this recipe from HelloFresh. They are not sponsoring me nor did I uh, sign up for their little subscription service, but if they would like to work with me, that would be great. But I was watching one of Aaliyah Face's vlogs like a very long time ago, and she had made one of these recipes from HelloFresh, and it looked really, really good. And I looked up the recipe on their website, because if you didn't know, you can find a lot of their recipes on their website. You don't necessarily have to get their, um, you know, subscription boxes, but it's like this cilantro steak, let me tell you the actual name of the recipe and I'll also link it down below as well. Doo -doo -doo. It's the creamy cilantro steak bowls. So I went to get the recipe, the recipe, I went to get the ingredients for this recipe today and one of the ingredients it called for was cilantro. So I got that, I got a cucumber for my salad tomatoes for my salad got some corn on the cob for the chicken stew i got peppers for the steak bowl got my steak it called for ranch steak which is like chuck some type of chuck steak but whole foods didn't have that also whole foods is expensive so i feel like they typically carry or carry more expensive grades of meat the only chuck beef that i saw there was like for a pot roast and for beef stew and that's not what i was looking for so i got a new york strip steak i think it will suffice it was also a very good price i got some bread for my sandwiches during the week the recipe also called for some red onions we all know i eat eggs basically almost every morning for breakfast so we went and re-upped on our eggs got some bacon because i have a pack open currently in my fridge from trader joe's but i'm sure that might be done by the end of the week recipe also called for sour cream so i got some light sour cream i got some chicken wings just to have in my freezer i need to rinse off this pack but i got some to just have in my freezer and then i got two packs of uh, boneless chicken thighs. I've made pollo guisado with chicken legs. That's normally what I use, but I wanted to use uh, some boneless chicken thighs. So I got two packs because I'm probably going to do two pieces per serving. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, because if I have the first serving tomorrow, yep, we'll have enough through Friday. So great. And I actually did pretty good at Target. I think I spent about $40 and I had a few different coupons, so I used it to towards that. And then I saved on my bacon. I think that's it. But I only spent $88 at Whole Foods, which is not bad because I bought a whole bunch of shit. Um, and we all know groceries is getting motherfucking expensive. So Joe and Kamala need to to figure it out because I don't understand why groceries are so fucking expensive. But anyways, I'm gonna put all this shit away and I'm gonna make something to eat. I have a video being released tomorrow. I'm trying to like make sure I'm staying ahead with my content. So my nighttime routine is dropping tomorrow. I will make sure to link it because by the time y'all are watching this, it will already be live. And then next Sunday, my Sunday reset is going to be live. So I will also link that because it will be already uploaded on my channel by the time y'all are watching this and then this will probably go up before my skims haul we'll see but yeah enough of my rambling let me go do what i gotta do for the day or for the morning at least it's about to be 12 soon it's 11 30 but yeah i'll talk to you beautiful people later
All right, y'all, I just came from the package room from getting my Skims package. All right, I got the Naked Scoop Bra in the color Coco. I got the Weightless Scoop Bra in the color Onyx, the Naked Plunge Bra in the color Onyx, and then the No Show Molded Unlined Demi Bra in Coco. So Coco and Onyx were the two colors that I got for me, only because like, when it comes to bras, I just like them to be either my skin tone or as close to it as possible, and then black. Two of them are from the Naked Collection, one of them is from the Weightless Collection, then the other one is from the No Show Collection. The Weightless and the No Show, they're in a 34C, they should fit, and then the Naked Scoop Bra and the Naked Plunge Bra are in a medium. I looked at the size chart before I ordered everything. And yeah, so hopefully they fit. I'm not gonna do a try on haul and like give my review and show how it looks under the skim shirts that I do have, etc., etc. Right here, this is just a little sneak peek. There will be a dedicated video for that. So stay tuned but this one is the i'm assuming this is the plunge bra in onyx i'm gonna keep the bags and everything in case i need to return it oh this should fit this should fit my my boobs i love this material though yeah this should definitely fit it's low-key making me think could i have gotten a small low-key but this should fit this is cute so this is the Naked Plunge Bra in Onyx. This is the Naked Scoop Bra in Onyx. I love the material of this, of these bras. So that's this one and they look really good quality too. I'm low-key wondering, could I have gone a size down in this bra? Cause this is a 34C, cause this is the Scoop Bra, right? Yeah, I'll try it on later to see, but I'm low-key wondering if I could have gone a size down. This one is the Demi, the no-show Demi bra in Coco. Ugh, this is gonna look so pretty up against my skin tone. This should fit as well. This is a 34C. This should definitely fit. I don't like a whole bunch of padding in my bras. I also don't necessarily need the underwire, but if it's gonna have the underwire, I don't want the bra to be like super padded though. Then this one is the Naked Scoop Bra, I'm assuming, or is this the Weightless? No, I think this is the Naked Scoop Bra. Oh, I like this a lot. This has padding in it, but it's not like super thick padding. This should fit. I want the other one that's kind of like a tank top that you can low key wear as if it was like a sports bra or a bralette type thing um, because it's long enough to look like that. Even this though, you could get away with it, but this is cute. I love the material. I love how it's branded. Uh, Kim did her thing per usual. Y'all all know that I love skims, so. Yeah, that is my little mini skims haul, but stay tuned for like the actual like try on of everything in a dedicated video. I'll make sure again to include the collections that I bought, that I got for the bras that I got from each collection, what size I got, the colors I got, the price points, and then also show you how it looks on my body like with nothing on top, just the bra. Why did I just hit myself in the face? And I will also, ooh, has a label. And I will also show y'all what it looks like underneath the Skims tops that I have. So yeah, very, very excited to film that, but I need this cold sore to go away first. I am going to chill out. I'm watching a podcast right now. I'm watching the new Rory and Mall podcast. Um, and they have B. Simone and her friend Megan. They have their own podcast. I forgot the name of it. I've watched a few of the episodes. It's actually pretty good, but they are on Rory and Mall's podcast today. So I'm finna watch that. And then I'm also probably going to start editing this vlog because I have not put the footage on my external hard drive yet. So I want to see what it's giving. But yeah, checking with y'all probably later when I cook this recipe since this is something brand new and I've never cooked before and never shown on my channel. So we gonna cook it together. So I'll probably talk to y'all later.
Hey y'all, okay, we're back. I was editing this vlog and it's looking good so far. I removed some footage because I was like, this is unnecessary and I didn't talk to y'all for the rest of the day. So like, we don't really need this clip. We'll just forget that that day ever happened. So we took out unnecessary shit. I think we're at like 30, 32 minutes on the vlog right now. But what we are about to do is meal prep. Um, not meal prep, we're gonna make this hella fresh recipe i just came back from trader joe's because i need to get paper towels before i cooked so we've done that and the dish the dishes are done like the dishes are in the dishwasher which means it makes my life easier so i don't got to do dishes after as i'm cooking slash when i'm done eating so we finished start cooking i'm gonna put on a new video from kayla cake she posted a video for vlogtober which starts today. I will not be participating. Y'all will not be getting any kind of like daily or or like consistent, consistent, consistent weekly vlogs or every few day vlogs until like Vlogmas starts. So yeah, but she just released a Vlogtober video. So I'm gonna watch that while I am getting dinner together. Okay, let's click this meal. Okay. 
I am a dummy and I just realized that I was not recording. So let's try this again. I'm so excited for my dinner. Just finished. I tasted the sauce after I had already made it. Fire. I tasted a little bit of the seasoning from the steak once it was cooked. Fire. And then I sauteed the onions and peppers in the leftover like oil and grease from the steak so I know this shit finna taste fire. I changed a few things in the recipe like I didn't do the rice exactly how they did and then instead of using jalapenos I omitted that and instead of using um, a poblano pepper I just used a green bell pepper because I didn't care about the dish being spicy but if you want it spicy then get the poblano pepper and get the jalapenos for the dish but yeah it looks so good. Cannot wait to eat it. So yeah, shout out to this HelloFresh meal. I'm gonna eat and then maybe I'll have some dessert later. We'll see how I'm feeling. And yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys later on tonight or I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Yeah, I'm looking a little crusty. It is almost 9.30. It is Sunday, October 2nd. So. I'm about to wash my hair. My dry scalp has been pretty intact this week, even though I sweated. Um, you actually would never know really that I worked out by looking at my hair, um, but cause it's still very straight. But usually my dry scalp will act up within a week. I try to go two weeks between washes, but to help keep my scalp, my dry scalp at bay, I'm trying to go back to like one time a week so we got our products that we're going to use i think i am going to straighten my hair only because one i'm starting my hair pretty early like i said it's almost 9 30 but two because i really want to try this product and see how it works so here is our hair lineup for the day so we're going to start with the briogeo scalp revival dandruff relief shampoo charcoal and aha bha with salicylic acid so i'm going to use this on my scalp first or on my hair first along with the like little massager that i bought from briogeo is very good for like cleansing the scalp you can also use this to massage your scalp like with oils and stuff but i use it in the shower when i use that shampoo then probably after i shampoo my hair with this like twice i will go in with this proclaim shea butter moisturizing shampoo i used to use this a very long time ago and i realized i still had some under my sink and i was like i used to love this because it makes my hair so soft even though it's a shampoo i get this at sally's so yeah the briogeo shampoo i ordered directly from the brand but i'm pretty sure they also sell this at sephora if i'm not mistaken then after i'm done shampooing my hair we're gonna go in with the silicone mix this is like a holy grail that i've been using on my hair since i was relaxed and it still works really well on my natural hair to make it very soft and very easy to detangle so we're going to put this on when we get out of the shower i'll rinse it out in the sink and then we are going to move on to blow drying our hair but before we blow dry our hair i need to section it detangle it and then put on this color wow dream coat on every section i ordered this off amazon it's linked in my amazon store so is this um silicone mix but you can also get this at sephora if i'm not mistaken we'll see if it actually makes a difference in how my hair comes out when it is straightened so yeah let me stop rambling and i am gonna get in the shower and wash my hair all right y'all i look fucking crazy but i just finished rinsing out the conditioner i sectioned my hair off like the instructions said and i sprayed this very liberally on each section of my hair and before i blow dry each section like when i part it because i do it in smaller parts i will spray a little bit more of this um which is what i just did to this back section so let's go ahead and blow dry this bad boy and see how it comes out i'm using my dyson air wrap i love her i will see if i can I know I have it linked on my Amazon store, but in case it's sold out, I will also see if I can get a link on my like to know and I'll link it below. But yeah. Okay. 
Okay, first impressions. My hair typically blow dries pretty well anyways, but I feel like my roots are a bit straighter than they normally are. And I feel like my hair feels a little bit like silkier, if that makes sense. So we're gonna do the rest of the hair and I will come back on when my hair is completely blow dried. All right, y'all, I just finished blow drying my hair. This is what she looks like. She feels very nice, very soft. Um, she's very, very straight. Like, yeah, she looks really, really good. So now we are going to flat iron her and then we're really gonna see like, you know, how this product works as well as if it holds up with humidity and helps control frizz and everything. But yeah, she's looking good. So now we just gotta straighten her. done and it feels so silky so smooth it straightened really well my hair always straightens well but I don't know it just feels very different this time and low-key it's kind of feeling and looking like Judy done touched my hair because every time Judy touched my hair it comes out flawless so it's giving Judy did my hair but no blowout and silk press by nye so yeah the combination i use y'all already saw the shampoo and everything i use today put this on very 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 liberally when you blow dry we'll get that shit basically straight and then once i was done straightening my hair i use the chi silk infusion put a little bit in my palms and focused it more so on the ends of my hair and then the roots and then i sprayed my hair with the it's a 10 miracle dry oil spray plus keratin and argon oil and my hair looks fantastic it looks better than it did last week when i straightened it not gonna hold you it looks so good but yes i am finally done with my hair today and i'm so glad i did laundry today i can fucking relax i am going to eat my leftover dinner and then i'm gonna start cooking and like cooking my dinner for today slash the rest of the week and i'm gonna relax and finish editing this vlog but i think i am going to end it here sorry i keep playing with my hair i think i'm gonna end the vlog here so i want to thank all you beautiful people for watching uh it looks so good i also can't wait to get my color redone i just got my hair appointment confirmed for november for next month it looks different in different lighting which i love but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you all enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe road to 1k so i was about to say almost like 10k we can dream but we gonna get there but road to 1k so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you beautiful people in the next video